Hello everyone, my name is Poofy and this is Welcome to Elk. Oh my head, we just had another one of those weird dreams. God, I was a mess in front of Freddy and Alice. Wait, there was a dream, right? Jeez, these beer dreams are screwing with me. Yeah, they're pretty, uh... Pretty hectic. Is there another one? A new day? A new bottle message? I guess this is a thing now. Let's check it out then. We got the frozen man. She is someone is new. She is someone. I was working as a carpenter in Greenland. I was young at the time and it was my first winter in the BYGD. Uh, big, a small settlement in Greenland. All days were cold and dark and nothing like what I was used to back in Denmark. I was working all weekdays with almost no daylight. When I was hammering nails, the nails would stick to my glove because of the frost. I was constantly hungry. Every day I could easily eat a whole cake just after lunch to keep me warm and happy. I felt very alone. I was used to hanging out with like-minded young people back home. We would be going to concerts and pubs each weekend and I always had someone to talk to. Here I had no one. There were people around me but no real friends. I even at some point drew my own imaginary Facebook feed. There was no internet to pretend stuff was happening. The people I spoke to were my colleagues. We were a team of about eight men. They had seen the world, but they all came from Denmark. By the various roads of the world ended up here in a small cold and windy big on the west coast of Greenland. They were older than me, but came from a different time and background. Each day we would all drive from each of our construction sites and back to the barracks to have lunch together. I was mostly quiet while eating. I didn't know what to say and how to be part of the conversation. They would occasionally speak about women in a way I felt uncomfortable with, but they were also the only people there that I could hang out with, so I never said anything against it. I probably would have today. One day during lunch they talked about a woman they called the goat. They had all been with her or pretended they had. I don't know if it was her job or if she just hooked up with them, but they all made fun of her as she had a handicap that made her sound like a goat during sex. I was especially silent that day and found her jokes and treatment of this person awful. Many months later I was on a plane back home to Copenhagen. I sat next to a young man like myself and we started talking. He worked in Denmark, but had just been back in Greenland to visit his mom. She was handicapped and needed help. She came from the same city and had the same handicap as the woman the men in the barracks had been talking about. I said nothing to the young man. I'm older now. I often think about this story. The next time, if ever, I'm in a room with people speaking about another person like this, I will say something. These people are real people and not just a story to tell for fun during lunch. Exactly. That's not nice. All right, what will the day bring us now? Uh, where should we go to? Go all the way there, all right. Oh. It's a good thing we have a map. Oh, let's pass the boutique. And... Morning there, Freer. I was just on my way to pick you up. I hope you're not feeling too fragile. Ready to do some work? Yeah, definitely. Finally. A chance to do a proper day's work. Great. Well, we're going to take a walk over to Mr. Bo's house. Oh? Okay, sure. Does he need work done? Well, yeah. He's been pestering me for a while. Wants a look at his kitchen. Mr. Bo's house is a bit more fleshy than the rest. So it's usually in need of a touch-up. Gosh. Guess it makes sense. It does seem a little fancy. If it's okay for me to say. Yeah, that would be putting it mildly. But it does have its reasons. Come on, we can walk and talk. Can we now? Why are you pushing me? Stop pushing me yet. Where are we going to? All the way up to the villa. Yeah. Past my house. Keep the door open. There we go, to the manor. Bow manor. 
Mr. Bo's place is just north of here. Oh, let's go there then. You know, Mr. Bo's story is as much about this island as its own. Let me tell you as we woke up. Okay, so what is that story like? Oh, goodness. To understand Mr. Bo, you need to know about his pappy, the old brewer. You see, he was a wealthy merchant who became heavily invested in elk after the Great War. The old brewer set out to transform our island, buying over the docks, opening a brewery, bringing in new homes and even planning to build a railway bridge. And it wasn't just the island. The old brewer transformed his own life, getting married, getting a son, our very own Mr. Bo. Could have been quite the happy tale. The problem was the old brewer treated both family and business the same, hard and cruel. He drove his wife away as the construction of his super bridge stalled. Years of frustration followed as the old brewer became increasingly more foul, building a resentment for his son Mr. Bow, burdening him with all of his father's hate. Poor Mr. Bow had to endure his father's spite, all because of his dad's failing business dealings. Mr. Bow became trapped in the crippling ambition of the old brewer. But then suddenly, one day, the old brewer was dead. A heart attack took him and left Mr. Bo a free man. He inherited all of his father's belongings, but none of his dreams. So Mr. Bo closed down the brewery and all that came with it, escaping the shadow of his father. Both Mr. Bo and the island of Elk were free to start a new chapter. I see. Okay, wow. So Mr. Bo and his dad were pretty big deal then? Oh, well, that's one, one way to say it. The two of them have definitely left their mark on Elk. People blame Mr. Bo for letting a lot of the businesses die out on the island. But to me, the man doesn't have a bad bone in his body. Wait. Is this his place? Sure is. Whoa. It's... It's huge. Well, yeah, the old brewer wasn't one for subtlety. And wait, all these cars? Is that a fire truck? Mm-hmm. Mr. Bo has developed a taste for collecting some certain oddities, as you can see. Does he drive all these? Honestly, I don't think that's the point of them. Then what is the point of them? Good question. It is a good question, isn't it? Let's check out this car. What a cute car. Yep. It has Marina written on the license plate. Must be special. I'd love a car like this. I like the beep. <laughs> awesome. Ah, my dear Jan. And of course you too, Frieg. So very happy you could swing by today. No trouble, Mr. Bo. What can we do for you? First thing I want is for you to come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to get bogged down in the rigmarole of work so hastily. Yeah, that's... Oh, no. I see another color thing. This looks both awesome and unsafe in equal measure. Yeah, that is a pretty neat car. Is there something else here that we can check out? It's rich here. No, it's up here. Righto, let's go inside then. There's so much to see. Your home is amazing, Mr. Bo. Well, thank you, my dear. I could tell when I first saw you that you are someone with impeccable taste. Ah, well, thanks. I'm very intuitive, you know. I have a nose for things. <clears throat> Mr. Bo, about the work you need done? Ah, yeah. Just a moment, my dear Jan. I'm having a burst of inspiration. Frier, have you ever played golf? Uh, no. I haven't. Is that bad? No, not at all. In fact, that's wonderful. Because I have the privilege of introducing it to you. Oh, um... You want me to introduce me to golf? Yes, exactly. Playing golf with one another is a fantastic opportunity. It's a game about meditation. It's a game about connecting. Why, it's the perfect chance to strike business deals. Business deals? 
Yes. So what do you say, Frigg? A round of golf? Does he think I'm maybe some sort of business venture? It does sound fun. Uh, what do you think, Jan? Is it okay? Uh, you two go for it. I'll have a look around if that's okay with you, Mr. Bo. See if I can spot any of these fixings you need. Splendid. Come, Frigg, to the garden for some world-class golf. But I wanted to look around. Just put the ball in the hole and you're the winner. It's mini golf. Wait. Uh, pretty cool. Splendid. Ho ho. Hole number two. Let's see how you can handle those corners. Well. Shitty apparently. I did not expect a golf game in, uh, in this game. There we go. Wonderful. Looks like you're a natural freak. Why is there... You're really sticking to it. What? Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic freak. Certainly a member of your new fan club. Splendid. Okay, so this, this kind of looks like what the golf. Oh, it, uh, it appears some of my pappy's vintage beer has ended up on the course. Careful now. Those hops are certainly hopping. Okay, well, I got them. No, it's too far. That was not the way I wanted it to go to. This is quite difficult. <laughs> because you cannot aim. It's four directions. Well, as my mommy would always say. No use over crying uh, no use crying over broken glass. Wait, what do I have to actually Oh my goodness, that's the thing. No. 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 Get a ball in. Come on. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, what fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This game became so, so silly. Okay, get, get one of those in. There we go. Wonderful. As my friend Lee Carvalho would say, put it in power drive. <laughs> Splendid. This doesn't make sense at all. It's time, Frigg. Like the true golf masters, it's time to bring it all down. What the hell is going on? Wonderful, Frigg. You certainly played a good game, I must say. That was fun. It was also very different to what I was expecting. I'd like to think that I have recreated the experience of golf rather perfectly here in my humble abode. I take these things very seriously, you know, Frigg. Well, I'm very impressed. How was it? It was truly a spectacular event. One for the ages. Sorry you didn't partake again. Yeah, I'm just glad I you, you enjoyed yourselves. But if you don't mind, Mr. Bo, could we have a quick chat? Not at all, my dear. My ears are at your back and call. Great, I appreciate it. Frigg, I found a cupboard in the back that needs a bit of mending. Left my tools next to it. Do you mind taking a look? Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks. We won't be long. Okay. This gives me time to look around. Ca caved eyes by Murray Somersolf. Hmm. 
He sounds pretentious. Although that is a cool surname. And I also noticed something. Oh, wait. This is uh, Queen, man. Night of the Opera. I think my mom has this album too. Good album, though. Uh, this must be the Mr. Family. Is there something here? Okay, then. This must be the cupboard. It's pretty bust up. It's also very disgusting here in this kitchen. Let's see if I can fix it. It's, it's a very tragic story. And it's um, I can hear someone? We need to make some kind of mini game based on the story of uh, the frozen man from my dad. If we put Frigg in a situation where she has to carry uh, yet and we do that in a beautiful way where mm -hmm. we sort of but Frigg is able to reflect upon Yeppe as a person. But maybe that's actually pretty good because I think like carrying also gives us some kind of uh, perspective that that's good. Like because in the, the way I understand the story, it's like you come and find they find the uh, Yebe, they're frozen, and they look down on him like straight to the eyes, basically. Yeah. Right? And I think that's kind of like a very important moment for the story, a very important, like, a, a very important, like, experience that we want the players to have. Mm. So if, if Freak will have to carry him, mm. she kind of has to get up close, and we can kind of maybe get that experience for her as well. Yeah. Like, mm. uh, if we can do it first person, as opposed to, at least when we, we talked about the writing stuff, the point yeah. is that as much as we love the way the characters move, yeah. that maybe that's going against the grain of what we want to see, do. Yes, see Yep's face and yeah. Nick's face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that would be very powerful. Yeah. Maybe it's like a ritual. Yeah, it is like a ritual, yeah. Because a ritual is always like a standard set of actions that you kind of do to... Yes. To, to acknowledge. To, to acknowledge, yeah. like, mm -hmm. to do something, right? Yeah. So, basically, Freak will be lifting the, the head, and Yen will be lifting the... So they will be the full Yeah. Uh, and then you see it from, like, from yeah. above, yeah. Actually, I can hear lots of people. What the hell? And they just said my name. Hello? Um, hello? Who's there? Can you hear me? The door's locked. And it seems like they can't hear me. I definitely heard them say my name, which is Frick. Not Frick. Frick. And also, Yepes? What is going on? Sorry to leave you on your own there, Frick. How's the cupboard coming along? Um... Are there any people? Are there other people here? Huh? There's people in this room. I could hear them talking. I heard my name. Could Leroy, Victor and Marge have come back already? Uh, I'm afraid not, my dears. They're all... They're most certainly still away. And besides, that room is simply a closet. Really? But I definitely could hear voices. The door was locked, so I couldn't seem to see who it was. Ah, so sorry to be a thorn in your rosebush, but please don't fret, Frick. Frick, <laughs> this house has lots of nooks and crannies. The wind can make all sorts of noises. Why, I hear the strangest things on a daily basis. You're feeling okay though, right, Frick? Am I going crazy? Yeah, no, I'm totally fine. You're right, it must have been the wind. Silly me. Well... It would appear there is something in this closet after all. There are some stowaway beverages in this closet. Shall we retire to the lake and enjoy one? I do very much enjoy a nice drink amongst friends. Sure, why not? Sounds lovely, Mr. Bo. Seeing the lake sounds nice. Splendid. Ah, feel that fresh elk breeze in your face. I gotta say, at times like these, I wouldn't trade this island for the world. Here, here, my dear Yen. It has been a wonderful day spent with the two of you. Uh, but we never fixed your cupboard. Oh, that old thing? What value does a cupboard door have? When compared to quality time spent with friends. Yeah, well, I'll drink to that. It's true, I did have a lovely time. But it's also getting late. I might walk back if that's okay. Of course, my dear. My deepest gratitude for you coming by. I'll stick around for another beer, Mr. Bo. 
The lake is looking real pretty tonight. I want to enjoy it just a little longer. I'll leave you both to it then. Thanks again for the day. Night Frick. Farewell, dear Frick. Right, that was weird, man. Those were the developers. I, I like it that they put it in there, though. But for this game, it's really weird. Phew, Mr. Bo's house was awesome. Still bothered by those voices, though. Could it really have just been the wind? I mean, I have been drinking, like, every day. Hmm. Yeah, you have been. Time for a nap, time for another weird dream. I'm beat. Here's hoping I can go a night without another Lynchian dream. I don't think so. I think David is watching. <laughs> David is ready to, to make another movie for you. Nice of you to join us, Frick. Anners? Anners? Wait, who are you with? Hey, you're that guy. Hi, Frick. This is my friend. I think you already met. You were just sharing some good traveling stories. But I've been asking about you. You were at my house, right? So I'm not crazy? Haha, <laughs> relax, Frick. Why don't you join in telling us stories? Telling stories with us? Um, I guess I could do that. But I don't know if I have any stories to share. I'm sure you have plenty, Frick. Yeah. Everyone has a story to tell, Frick. Doesn't matter how big or small. As long as there's an audience, a story will always be heard. Yeah, let us be your audience, Frick. Hmm. Okay, you guys. Sure. So this one time... I woke up. Oh my god. 